Doomfist is a character that's described as having the capability to level a skyscraper. A name that instills fear by itself, I think it's a character who deserves a closer look, and that's what we're gonna do here in this video. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Force here, and today we're gonna take a close look at the character Doomfist, try to unveil the mystery behind him, like we did with Sombra just the other week, and then discuss whether or not he might be Overwatch's next playable character. Let's jump right into it. So Doomfist was first hinted at in the Overwatch announcement trailer. In fact, it was his gauntlet that was the reason for the entire drama of the trailer unfolding, with Widowmaker and Reaper breaking in and Winston and Tracer fending them off. We saw the Doomfist actually wielded in that trailer, and it appeared to pack a significant punch. Hey! Now, it was later revealed in an interview with PC Gamer that the idea of Doomfist started out as a throwaway line just for that trailer, and it was never meant to be anymore. However, over time, the development team decided to kind of flesh out the character a bit more, and as such, this brings us into the game, specifically to Numbani. A utopian city on Africa's western coast, Numbani is a place where humans and omnics have learned to live in peace, often described as the City of Harmony and the host of the Unity Day celebration. However, all is not well in the city of Numbani, as the looming threat of Doomfist is a constant concern. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the payload on this map. However, I ask you, have you ever taken a close look? Like, really close. Because if you did, you would notice that you're actually moving Doomfist Gauntlet. And that's because after the attempt to steal it from the Overwatch Museum, it was brought to Numbani for safekeeping. Now, as we take a closer look around the city, we notice advertising for the Doomfist exhibit coming to the Numbani Heritage Museum. And making our way to the other side of the city and into the Heritage Museum, we see a holographic display of the gauntlet with some information about it. And then posted up on either side of the walls, we get to take a look at the characters who bore the name Doomfist. Yes, you heard me correctly, I said characters, as in more than one. So this brings us to the question of who is Doomfist? Well, Doomfist is what we would call a generational character, the moniker of Doomfist has been carried by at least three individuals, the Savior, the Scourge, and the Successor. Now it's assumed that the Successor is the current Doomfist, as he's the only one who doesn't have an image or a name. Or does he? Images of numerous unannounced characters have been released over these past few months that could possibly fit the figure outlined in the Doomfist exhibit. Now, while we haven't found an exact match, we may actually already know what Doomfist looks like based on these images revealed. As for his name, this isn't just some gibberish written under the successor's portrait, it's actually the Omnic language, which someone much smarter than myself has taken the time to try to decrypt. It seems as if the written Omnic language Language is actually a form of pictograms or emojis, and that the discerning eye could intuit that the current Doomfist is half human, half omnic, basically a hybrid. And this that we see right here might just very well be his name. So this brings us to the big question, will Doomfist be the next playable character? Well, in that same PC Gamer article that we mentioned earlier, it was stated that although they have nothing to announce yet, they have discussed the idea of making Doomfist a playable character. And if he does become a playable hero, he'll be well aware of his predecessors, and he'll also be well aware that he's among Omnic in the Overwatch pantheon of characters. There's a really good chance that if he does become a playable character, he would be considered on the evil side of things, similar to Reaper and Widowmaker, and he might very well actually be their leader. These are all just theories and ideas plucked from the bits of information that we've learned about this character in the game and outside of the game in interviews and articles. Either way, though, I think it goes without saying that Doomfist, the idea of a character, is a pretty cool one. Who doesn't want to be this badass wielding this gauntlet that could level a skyscraper after all? And even in the hands of a child, it packed a significant punch. Alright guys, that is going to do it for me here today as we unveil the mystery behind the character Doomfist. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As with the Sombra one, I had a fantastic time putting it together. Big shout out and thank you goes out to the Overwatch community for helping compile this information. I just make the video. Videos. All right, guys, thanks y'all so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic afternoon, and until next time, I'll see you later.